Hey Josh, my name is Jessica from Peterson SEO and this morning I spoke with someone in your office who asked to remain nameless, um, but she said that you should be the one to watch this video. Um, so today I'm just going to go over a few tips that you guys can apply right away that's really going to help your website performance, um, your performance online, and getting more of those organic leads. Now, it's important to note that nearly 70% of organic leads come from your website. So your website does need to be properly optimized so you can actually capture that traffic. Um, so we are on your website and you have a nice looking website. Um, you have separate pages for every one of your services, which is exactly what you want. Um, you have service area pages which is also extremely important if you want to be found for your services in um, your service area. Um, we've got Phoenix Water Damage Restoration. That is a very good um, local buyer intent keyword. Um, websites are built um, for Google. Um, you want them to look nice for your customers, but ideally it's you're building it to what Google wants um, so that they can rank you and put you in front of your customers. So Google needs a ton of content and the content needs to be focused around local buyer intent keywords. But most of your keyword usage um, that I've noticed throughout your website, you do have a little bit that is local, but a lot is focused on national keywords and unfortunately national keywords are not going to bring you local clients um, you're going to get false metrics on those national keywords um, because even when you do rank them to the first page very few percent will actually be local so what will happen is you'll get people from all over the country that might land on your website and are going to leave when they realize that they're not in Phoenix and you can't help them. So you do need to be focused on the local keywords. Um, and you want to make sure that you're using a variety of the keywords. Not everybody Googles the same way. So you definitely need to have your um, keyword, use your keyword, oh, I can't speak, sorry, keyword research. So you can capture all the good variations of the same type of keywords and capture all of that traffic. Um, also, not you have a little bit of content under each of these services, but nothing under here. So you need 250 words for every keyword you're trying to target. And so I would be making sure that all of these descriptions have some of those keywords that you're focusing on. Um, and, and so you need 250 words for every keyword you're going to target and you need to be, um, you need to have two to three repetition of that exact match keyword to be indexed and found by Google. Reviews are great. I'm just not seeing a whole lot for exact match keywords. Blogs are something that can be extremely powerful if done correctly on your website. Um, these should be focused around a specific keyword you're trying to rank. Um, then have a hyperlink in the blog that will link you back to your service page. And then you would need a backlink um, with that keyword you're trying to rank and a link to your blog. By doing that, you create a very powerful article, um, a powerful guest post that gives you more authority in Google's eyes and helps you to rank a lot quicker. Um, okay, so you're going to need more content um, on your home page. You need a minimum of 1,500 to 2,000 words. That's what Google likes to see. Um, you're always going to need more of whatever your competitors are doing. So if they have more content, you're going to need more than they have. And you want to make sure you're capturing all of the really good um, keywords. 
and that you're not using the same keywords on multiple pages. Otherwise, you can run into keyword cannibalization and actually not have keywords indexed or not be shown for those keywords online. So um, all pages need to have their own original content and their own keywords. Um, your service area pages, again, these should be mini home pages. Um, with their own original content and their own keywords focused around each of those services. I noticed a lot of those service area pages have duplicated content, switching out just a couple keywords. The titles might be a little bit different, but most of the content is the same, and Google does not like that. And almost all of your actual um, local keywords are pretty much the same. Um, the same format. And again, not all people search the same way. So you do want to make sure you're capturing all of the really good um, local keywords and not just one type. Um, that's going to help you drive even more traffic. If we look at your top competitor in Phoenix for water damage, we actually have Serve Pro. Now, you don't actually have to compete against the entire franchise. You're only competing against this specific area. And you're actually at a huge advantage um, because franchisees can't modify their website, add content, or um, refocus their keywords, and you guys can. So it's actually super easy to beat these guys. You just have to have a lot more content um, that is focused on your services and making sure you're using the best local keywords um, so you can get them to rank and making sure you have all these interlinking pages which help your SEO. So these guys are going to be super easy for you to beat, but they do have a lot of content. And then you're going to have to support your website with SEO because a website without search engine optimization is not going to be found. So look at here, it does look like you have some SEO going to your website, which is awesome. Um, you have a score of a 26 for your domain as a whole, which is great. That's 100% based on your backlinks and referring domains. Um, and while you do need a lot of these, not all are created equal. So you do need to make sure that you're going after the authoritative links that are directly related to your industry and that are do follow links. Uh, because do follow links will share the power of the high ranking sites and help you to rank faster. But Google only gives you credit for one backlink for every referring domain. So the extra 3,600 backlinks are all spam. Now, um, Google, or I'm sorry, you have 476 do follow backlinks, referring domains, excuse me. You have 476 do follow referring domains. So only 476 out of 4,000 backlinks are doing anything to help your website. Um, you have been indexed for over 300 keywords, but majority of them are national. Um, and you are getting over 200 people to your website per month. But again, most of that um, traffic is national traffic. Um, looking at your keywords, your brand is very important, but these are also national keywords. So even though they're getting most of this traffic, most of that is not local traffic. Um, so you need to focus more on the local buyer intent keywords than the actual branding and national keywords so that you can actually convert these local people into customers. Looking at um, your competitor. We don't care how their domain is rated. We compare, We only care about the Phoenix location. And they have a 17 with only seven referring domains and of those only one of those are do follows. So you only have to beat their one. Um, they have 74 keywords and they're getting over 200 people locally to their website. And even though you're driving more traffic than they are, Theirs is local traffic versus yours is national. And um, they're ranking higher in their keywords. So um, these guys are going to be super easy to beat. You just have to focus on the strategies that I gave you. 
And then the last piece is this Google My Business section. Your goal should be to be in the top three of this section for each of your service areas and relevant keywords because 30% of people search in the maps and don't search anywhere else. So if you're not listed here, you send all of those leads to your competition. So in order to be in the top three, there are several factors, but the most important are going to be your citations. And that's going to be the name of your business, your address, phone number, and website, and listing those in a bunch of directories like Facebook, Yellow Pages, Glassdoor, etc. So you're going to need a lot more than your top competitor. But if you follow each of these tips I have provided you today, your website can be number one across Google for each of your services and service areas using those local buyer intent keywords supported by your SEO backlinks. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I would really love to get your feedback on it. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and give me a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.